Hi, this is Matt, and this is a video on Google Trends. So I'm right here on Google Trends, just on the main page here. So you can find Google Trends at trends.google.com. I will, of course, put that link in the description so you can just click and get there pretty quickly. So I'm just on the main page here, and we've got we got a lot of trending stuff, um, pardon the pun, on the main page. So we can see what's actually going on in the world. Uh, we can set different reminders here as well. Uh, but what we're going to do uh, for the purposes of this video is we're going to use this, uh, this search bar here. So you can search for anything. For some reason, Heathrow is highlighted here. So if I actually um, do a search on Heathrow, it's going to bring up trending topics around Heathrow, which of course is the, the airport in Britain. So we can see that uh, we can see this interest over time. So what this shows, uh, as Google tells us here, is uh, the numbers represent search interest relative to the highest point on the chart for a given time and region. Uh, so a value of 100 is peak popularity, uh, 50 means that the term is half as popular. So everything is relative on this graph. So what you're seeing here isn't necessarily uh, Heathrow, this term, this search term Heathrow, uh, relative to other search terms, uh, the airports, uh, for instance. It's actually just relative to, um, to itself. So we can see that around here, maybe there was an incident going on around March 21st. It tended to peak here and then it's dropped off. Um, actually, this is all this is all over one day. So I say it's dropped off if if we actually change. So what, what we can do right here, we can look at the past, let's say the 12 months. I thought it strange that that graph um, was dropping, <laughs> was sort of slanting upwards. So obviously something's going on in Heathrow right now. I'm not really sure. Hopefully nothing too bad. Um, plane crash. Yeah, hopefully that isn't going on. Uh, I haven't actually looked because I don't really follow the news. But uh, right here, we've got the 12 month interest over time. So this is just United Kingdom. Uh, depending on the search term, you can expand to worldwide and you can look at uh, different regions as well, depending on the search term and what you're looking to actually use Google Trends for. So we can see the interest over time. And again, this is all relative uh, to itself, uh, to the, the 100 number. So everything above 50 is more interest than usual and it's shot up today. Um, so yeah, something is going on in uh in Heathrow at Heathrow. So what we can do is we can use trending now so we can see different things again region based uh, we can change so we can look at the past week uh, and what we're going to get is loads and loads of search terms that are trending in the world for different reasons. So UK travel warnings so it actually says here that the trend breakdown actually um, links you out to Google articles and essentially tells you why this search term is trending. So uh, uh, something as obvious as Croatia versus France is almost certainly a football match. Uh, so, you know, you can link out there. You've got like England football is pretty obvious. There's a lot of uh, a lot of football, a lot of sports trending right here. So we can we can go worldwide or we could go, let's say you're in the United States. So we can come over to the United States. And again, we're getting a lot of football. Um, we're getting a lot of sport. So what we can do here uh, under categories is we can actually um, we can actually filter down into these different categories. So if you wanted to see political trend and stuff, we've got science, uh, sports is there, technology, and you see all these different ones. So if I was to click on, uh, let's say, climate, we can see uh, climate news in the United States trending over the last 24 hours. So this is super interesting. It's super interesting. Uh, why might you use Google Trends? Well, uh, just general interest stuff, you know, you can see what's going on in the world. It's a different way to take in current events if you still want to take in current events, that is. Uh, but also from a from an entrepreneurial perspective, we can actually look at what is trending in the world. So I've got this search for crypto open right here. So this is United Kingdom. Again, we can do other countries um, and we can actually do categories within that particular search term. So if I look at uh, the last five years, we can actually see the peaks and the valleys in uh, the kind of, I guess, acceptance of crypto or the popularity of crypto. Uh, and we can actually see where it peaks. So you see these peaks right here would be uh, almost certainly drawing a big surge in interest in the crypto. And then the drop offs will be drawing the kind of so-called in inverted commas crypto winters when things drop off and crypto becomes less popular. So obviously that's just one search term. We could search for Bitcoin or maybe we want to go back here and we actually want to 
Um, let's go back to explore. So what we could do here, let's say we're interested in AI coding. Obviously AI coding is pretty popular right now. So we can search for AI coding. I've got United States here and 12 months. And we can see this clear trend here where this particular search term, AI coding is getting there's a little dip there. And then from around the start, sort of the end of last year into the start of this year, we see this clear upward trend showing you without a doubt that AI coding has become very, very popular in the last couple of months. Uh, we're in early, early uh, March right now in 2025. So we can also see related terms down here on the bottom. So we can see the popular app cursor um, is it says breakout right here. So that shows that that one is trending. We've also got uh, Grok, um, ChatGPT 4.0, uh, Windsurf and Sports. That's actually um, an error there because there's a popular app called Windsurf AI uh, and they've associated windsurfing as sports, which, yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but that's obviously an error. And we've got DeepSeek as well. The Chinese alternative to ChatGPT is coming up there. Uh, and then we've got related queries. We've got some AI related queries here. So all of this is super interesting, super useful, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you just have a general interest in something, whether you're looking for historical trends, uh, maybe for a research paper or something, Google Trends is super, super useful. We've even got an interest by subregion. I don't know how accurate this is. We could do this for worldwide as well. Uh, like I say, we're on United States right here. But yeah, we could just punch in all sorts of search terms here. There's some recommended searches here, random stuff. I, I don't even know what this is. Uh, but say we wanted to, I don't know, let's, let's just go for something as general as YouTube. Uh, we can see YouTube interest over time in the United States. And we can actually, we could go five years as well. So we can see a more clear trend. It's been, I mean, you see this trend is it's pretty, pretty standard. It's pretty pedestrian. There's no large peaks and valleys. We can actually see, again, the uh, the subregion by interest. And we can see related terms, which is, and we can flick through these as well. So this is useful. I often use related topics for, uh, for further research. If I want to um, discover, you know, maybe I want to do um, a YouTube video on a certain app and I can discover new apps just by using this tool. So that's really helpful. Uh, if you're looking to start a business as well as an entrepreneur, if you're looking, uh, maybe you are looking to create an app maybe or write about an app or create a video on an app, uh, this is another great use for Google Trends. I mean, there's just so many different things. Like maybe if we go with something just off the top of my head that I know is trending right now, if we go back to, let's just go back to the cursor example. So we can really, like I'm here clearly, uh, cursor was basically not even, well, the app cursor was not even invented right here. So clearly you see this is very pedestrian. And then all of a sudden it pops off here um, last last summer. So yeah, that's about right. When the app started to become more popular. And then we see this year, there's just been this surge, surge of popularity here for uh, almost certainly this is going to be around Cursor AI, the popular coding app, the popular AI coding app, I should say. And then we see some random topics here at the bottom. But yeah, you see that we can use Google Trends. I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg, really. We can we can actually set reminders for different things. So we can have email reminders when things reach a certain level of popularity. And we can just use we can just use this tool um, unlimited. It's all free to use. Uh, like I say, the link is in the description. We can click around the different topics. Like let's say we click Amazon here, and we can see Amazon's popularity over the last. Uh, maybe we want to see it over the last week. Maybe we want to see it over the last five years or even 2004 to present. I guess, I guess this is as far back as the data goes. So much further than five years, we can see, look at that, the spikes for Amazon, you know, it's um, not much interest in uh, Amazon here relative to now, which seems odd because that's 2018, but yeah, don't know what's going on there. Uh, so yeah, the tool maybe not for, at least for Amazon. Bizarrely, the the um, the tool doesn't seem very accurate. I guess one relative to a uh, to a one hundred here um, is pretty insane. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, if we come back to ninety days or even to twelve months or five years, it's going to be a lot more accurate. You would think. So yeah, uh, that was just a brief overview and introduction to Google Trends. Hopefully you found that helpful. Hopefully you're going to use Google Trends yourself for research purposes, for 
uh, whether you're looking to start a business, whether you're looking to write on something or create a video around something, you can use this for all kinds of trending topics, all kinds of subject areas. And yeah, Google Trends, hopefully you found that helpful. Mm -hmm.